Hey everybody, it's Captain Mac. I've got an umbrella rig clip I want to share with you. This was shot on Lake Lanier in January, early January of 19. I got my good buddy Dean Sigmund to pile in the boat. You'll notice I let, man, I was really nice that particular day. I let Dean reel in all the fish. So, But anyway, hopefully we can share some things with you that'll help you catch some fish with umbrellas. So I really think, you know, they're good year round. If you can get your depth of the umbrella to the proper depth they have year-round application i never take them out of the boat i think they're particularly strong in the cooler months december january february they do really really well uh, in this case we had water temperatures in the low 50s and man we caught some nice fish now this is where an umbrella i think is at its best we had a huge area that had a lot of fish in it but they were singles they were scattered out really badly we never could get them bunched up because a lot of times I use the umbrella as a search tool and if I ever find the fish really ganged up then I might switch to a live bait technique or I might drop a jigging spinner. Um, but in this case we beat out singles all day and it was great. It's such a high saturation technique. If you've got fish that are scattered out this is a great way to show them a bait. Here we see we're trying to, looks like I'm trying to film one while Dean's catching it. This is really hard to land a fish, hold your phone, get good video. We did two out of three. I don't know how that video turned out, but we got the fish. Uh, worked out pretty well. I'll just see if I can find that video. Uh, the rig we're using is a Captain Max forearm nine bait bucktail rig. The tackle is Captain Max umbrella rod, a cold water 30 with 40 pound monofilament. Now I want you to look how Dean's working this fish. He's pumping and reeling. There's two ways you can land a fish with an umbrella. You can either use a pump and reel technique like Dean's doing, which I think is easier, but it's crucial when you drop the rod, you keep the line tight. Because when you, if you drop the rod and give him slack, the umbrella is heavy enough that it falls below the fish, pulls down on the hook, and then when you tighten it up, it lifts the rig and it changes the position of the hook. If you do that enough, and for lack of a better term, you wallow a hole out in his mouth, and that's a good way to lose a nice fish. So if you're going to pump and reel like that, drop that rod keep it tight if you just want a reel a constant steady reel that works too but the main thing no matter how you do it keep the rod bent and you will find that you won't lose many fish this is really really a very high percentage technique a high percentage meaning the number of strikes uh, and the number of fish you land is a very very good ratio and here what I'm doing you see I got my rod tip down the water I wish I could tell you this was some kind of super magic technique it's not if you look at the fish you might have noticed he came to the top back there and Dean, uh, when he came to the top, the fish is moving from our left, or from left of the screen to the right. He's crossing across the stern. And all I did was took my rod and dipped it down in the water to get that umbrella a little deeper until this fish crosses over. I just didn't want him to get him foul. And I wanted to do that as opposed to reeling in. A lot of times I can get the second fish on the other rig. In this case, the fish were scattered so badly we didn't get any double hookups, all singles. But that's what that was all about. Hold it down there, let that fish cross over. And now he's on the top there the other rig's deep enough that's not going to be an issue well dean's wailing on this one it's taking a while matter of fact i was giving him a hard time i think we looked at the camera he was on this fish almost two minutes yeah i like to give him a hard time anyway yeah there we go so he's going to get him another nice fish he's pumping and reeling keep that line nice and tight now trolling speed i get this question all the time what's the optimal speed now, if i had to pick a number i'd pick 2.75 what you need to remember, I don't think there's a lot of difference in the number of bites you get if you're going two and a half versus three and a half. I think the difference is that, ex that, that change in speed or the greater speed changes your depth. You're going faster, you're fishing shallower. And I really believe it's all about the depth. The fish can swim three and a half to four miles an hour to eat your umbrella, at least for a short distance. He can swim two and a half miles an hour to eat your umbrella. But if it's not in the right depth, I think that's more of a detriment than the speed. So just factor that in. You need to uh, think about the wind. If you're trolling and you've got a nice wind, a 10 mile an hour wind at your stern, and you turn around and you go the opposite direction and put that wind on your bow, you've just changed your boat speed. Of course, you can alter that with the motor, but just be cognizant of that because that kind of speed change causes a big depth change. Now, landing the fish, this is the best way to land them. I just grab the, the frame of the umbrella. That umbrella is big and tough enough. That's the best handle because if you net him, whatever hooks are not in the fish are end up in the net, and it's going to take you a long time to take care of that. This way, you can grab the frame, get the fish off the hook, get the rig back in the water, catch more fish. So anyway, here's some tips on umbrella fishing. Keep them in your boat. I think it'll make you a better fisherman. Hopefully we set something here that will catch you more fish in the upcoming year. Good fishing.